what is good my reflections what is good my babies hit that like and subscribe button you are over here with some hit that follow button if you haven't already what are you waiting on go over there to my youtube i meant to my um website for naked news on the daily where we get real uncomfortable don't forget to go over there to rumble in the jungle where we get very uncomfortable over there baby we doing conspiracy theories and everything daily news we we getting into it all baby they don't stop my deuce in the court over there on rumble so that's where I be most of the time. Reflection! You can catch me over there under that tree over there on Wobble, baby. You okay? So with that being said, we are over here this week talking about the chakras. Okay, baby. So if you missed my video on the um kundalini goddess, okay, or the goddess kundalini, baby, however you want to put it, um, then you should just definitely check that out. And I will definitely link that in the description box below. But today we're over here talking about the root chakra baby okay and as you will notice i'm gonna make a separate video where we are going to go into detail about the chakras and how they turn okay because some the first third and the fifth and the seventh chakra all turn counterclockwise okay so the um let's see the second the fourth and the sixth all turn the opposite direction it turns anti-clockwise that's how you you get what i'm saying okay so we're gonna go into detail with that more in a different video but today we're just gonna focus on the root chakra or your base chakra okay so how do we know what first of all what is your first chakra and i'm gonna link um a picture on the side so y'all can see because i know you can't see up here reflection okay so the base chakra which is also represented by the color red and this is also um the picture you'll see it'll be a lotus with four petals on there okay so this is located at the bottom of your spine reflection at the very very bottom of your spine is where you will find your base or your root chakra okay my pyrite crystal said it want to come down so we gonna take it down <laughs> it wanna come down so we gonna take it down baby okay it said you going to the root well then put me down there with you okay they can't see to read you all right so with that being said it's located at the bottom of your spine and it regulates your teeth your nails your knees your hips your rectum and your spine all of that goes together with your base and your root chakra okay this is this chakra deals with grounding this chakra deals with earth okay which means it connects you to the earth this is your survival instincts chakra okay flight or flight mode do you hear what i'm saying baby all right and some good um crystals that you can use to ground yourself with this is hemolite okay and let's see do i have some hemolite in here i don't think i got no hemolite you will know when you have a hemolite um stone because it's magnetic it, it, it's magnetic like that you put two of them together they they go like a magnet okay and this is a grounding stone okay so if you're trying to raise your vibration with um and i'll probably link it to the side if you're trying to raise your vibration then you definitely want to invest in you a hemolite or a hematite when i say a hemolite a hematite um stone okay or a bloodstone as well bloodstones rubies um, they're all good. Keep in mind, this is this base chakra is represented by the color red. Okay, so um, let's see. What you can also use herbs as well. Okay, we're gonna go into a deeper, separate video about that, but I just want to touch on it a little bit. Different herbs and aromatherapy scents, you know what I'm saying? You can use those two to help open and unblock and clear just when you're doing your meditation of your um base or root chakra some that you can use is cider okay cider that is very very good cider and spice cloves those are very good um herbs for to open up and clear out your base chakra keep get, get everything regulating right on there do you hear what i'm saying baby all right so how do we know when our chakras are out of function how do we know Tarithia, if our chakra is not if our root chakra we're going to specifically if our root chakra is not in balance how do we even know that okay so if your root chakra is unbalanced remember this is a grounding this is a grounding chakra okay so this is your fight or flight your survival mode um chakra you will be thinking about a lot of material things material things 
will run you kind of i hate to say it like that but yeah it'll be like okay i don't have enough of this instead of trusting that it will come to you okay instead of trusting that if you do your groundwork that everything because this is a magnetic realm it will manifest to you do you hear what i'm saying okay but if your root chakra is blocked or closed, then you will lack physical or emotional stamina, okay? You will also be very fatigued when you're based in your root chakra. You got to think, how are the rest of them are going to regulate if you start at your base chakra? If it's all out of whack, baby, you, the foundation ain't no good. So how the house going to stand up if the foundation is rocky? Do you get what I'm saying? Okay. So a lot of things in life will worry you that if you're... Um, if your base chakra was balanced, a lot of things wouldn't worry you. would be very uncertain, okay? You'll feel like you just don't got the power to achieve certain things. You know then, like, your root chakra, it may be time to go and do a little root chakra work, okay? You will see life as a burden sometimes, okay? You will just feel like you don't have control of your destiny, all right? Um, sometimes... You will challenge people in situations. You will become very easily irritated. Okay, a lot of shit will get to irritate you around that be You like, I ain't got time for this motherfucker shit. I got other stuff I got to do. Listen, don't talk to me. Okay, so you, you will be like that, Reflex. You will be very irritated, very snappy, very, you get what I'm saying. Even though that's in just some people's personality, baby. But that has to also do with your root chakra. Because when your root chakra is balanced, you are becoming one with self. Okay? So... This is also a very sexual, um, <laughs> the root, that's why they go together. The first and the second one, the sacral chakra and the root and the base chakra. Because this also, the second chakra deals more with sex and sexuality and you just controlling your, you get what I'm saying, your sexual desires. That deals more with your second chakra, but it also starts with your first chakra okay so this is the root chakra this is the true seat of consciousness of unconsciousness right here this is the seat of consciousness at the top and this is the seat of unconsciousness at the bottom which is your base in your root chakra okay remember the base and the root chakra is divine feminine the um your crown chakra is divine masculine that's why they have to come one together if your crown chakra is remember it's like a house if your crown chakra which is the the roof if it's um in alignment it's built up looking pretty everything vibration everything going good but the base your foundation what the house is sitting on is rocky then everything else is just yo, eventually some shit gonna fall around it. do you hear what i'm saying reflection so think of it like that all right so, with the act of harmony, the earth forces us to learn from each chakra, okay? So, remember, I told you, as you go up each chakra, you will learn more about yourself. You got to think. Certain things that used to bother you, this deal with survival tactics. This deal with survival instincts. This deals with listening itself, okay? So, even though... See how the first and the seventh chakra go together? This deals with self. And it also deals with listening at the intuition, which is also related to your seventh chakra, which is enlightenment. Okay? You see how it kind of goes together? Divine feminine, divine masculine. You get them together, it's one. Okay? So you got to have, just like the crown chakra is um leveled, you must start at the root. The root chakra got to be leveled. Self got to be leveled in tune with sur your survival instincts. You are, you get what I'm saying? Think of it like this. You are the, you are the project. Okay? But, Oh, think of it like this your chakras are the project right but you are the program you are the one who controls the program do you get what i'm saying you control the program you control the project and how the project is gonna go is it gonna flow smoothly or is it gonna flow, flow un, is it going to flow unbalanced because a programmer knows when they sit you you can sit here and you you know how your body is when you do certain things you know how your body is when you intake certain things into your body because it makes you feel a certain type of ways when you watch certain things that make you feel a certain type of ways all of that has to do with aligning your chakras what you listen to what you listen to because the ear is the key to the pineal gland so that I wish is your consciousness so all of that has to play one in hand in hand it all goes together okay and a lot of people 
as well technically where is the root chakra well technically your root chakra it starts right here on the base of your spine but if you want to just get really really technical it's in between from your um your reproductive side <laughs> it's in between your anus and your genitals okay that's that's where it's technically located all right reflections so with that being said I wanted to come through and I definitely wanted to tell you about um, some different things that you can do to open up your root chakra to ground, not necessarily open up, but to ground your root chakra, okay? Which is also called your base chakra. Remember, any type of, if you're working with any type of crystals, bloodstone crystals, Himalayan crystals, um, rubies, this, anything that's red almost, okay? Not all red crystals go with it, but those are some definitely some good crystals if you want to work with them, okay? Remember, you can use um, incense, aromatherapy, but really just becoming one with self, just going in and doing your own groundwork and also it deals with what you're putting into your body because you are what you eat i say i say i say hey